feel a full range of sad, deeply sad emotions. And uh, we do have a theme. The theme is sadness or melancholy. Childhood hours, I have not been. As others were, I have not seen. As others saw, I could not bring. My passions from the common springs. From the same source, I have not taken. My sorrow, I could not awaken. My heart to joy the same tone, that same tone. And all I love, I love alone. Then, in my childhood, in the dawn of a most stormy life, was drawn. From every death of a good and ill. Mystery which binds me still. From the torrent or the fountain, from the red cliff of the mountain, from the sun that round me rolled in its autumn tint of gold, from the lightning in the sky as it passed me flying by, from the thunder and the storm and the cloud that took the form, when the rest of heaven blew of a demon in my view.
This one is called the dark. Here I sit surrounded by dark. Just like a round of people in the dark. Crawling through the wall, trying to stand what I fall. Building my way around the room, I find a switch. And then it boom. The light is bright, it hurts my eyes. I look at the switch, turning the light into night. I saw the light, it came to the moon. I went to see it. from out her golden rim, and softly dripping drop by drop upon the quiet mountaintop, steals drowsily and musically into the universal valley, the rosemary nods upon the grave, the lily lulls upon the wave, wrapping the fog about its breast, the ruin moulders into rest. Looking like leaf, see, the lake of conscious slumber seems to take, and would not for the world awake, all beauty sleeps, and lo, where lies Irene and her destinies. O oh, lady bright, can it be right? This window opens. Oh, this window opens to the night. Once in airs from treetop, <clears throat> laughing through the latest drop. Bodiless airs, a wizard breath. Flip through thy chamber, in and out, and wave curtain canopy, so fitfully and so fearfully above the closed and sigil of French lid, neath which thy slumbering soul lies hid, that o'er the floor and down the wall, like ghosts, the shadows rise and fall. It's called the sleepers by the family. Enemy. 
Imagine then, if you will, how it felt while in my very arms, my beloved hope withered and died. Well, I got one here. <laughs> oh, thanks. I, I can, I can hold this camera. Huh? This safe here. It goes like this. It is behind the moon, besides the stars. It fills up holes and engulfs my heart. I launch to fight, I launch to pray, but it is always there, lighting out my light. It breaks heart, destroys beauty. It takes me to nothing and then binds my duty. Life is taken away and so is love. The pain is slowly fast and the body is gone. Seeps through holes, covers my face. Man the old, destruction at pace. Surrounds the earth, is at man's end, causes chaos, and I grasp it. It's in the mind, it's in your face. It's in the heart, it's in your race. It's in your body, mind too. The sun rejects, life too. I feel it, all around me, calling out, and I am with it. A dark night to nothing my heart full of it. And the best, worst part is, I am happy. But I ask you all, can you tell me what this is?
15 minutes? More than that. 30 minutes? Here I sit and watch my world come crumbling down. I cry for help, no one's around. Silently screaming as I bang my head against the wall. It seems like no one cares at all. But there's an emotion, an emotion that an emotion I can't explain. Kind of like the scent of rose, which can't explain the same with my pain. I'm caught up in emotions. It goes over my head. Sometimes I gotta think of myself as it's life or death, am I living or am I dead? The clock keeps ticking, but nothing else seems to change. Problems never solved, so just rearranged. And then I think about all the times that I've had. Some were good, most were bad. I search for personality and I look for things I can't I couldn't see. Love and peace love and peace flash through my mind, but pain and hate is all I ever would find. Found no hope and nothing new, and I've never ever had a dream come true. Lies and Life and hate and agony through my eyes, this is all I see. Hey, spokesman. Hey. Where's the mic? In there. I would like to read uh, an elegy, which is a poem about death, a poem written because someone has died. The name of this poem is Elegy, that word. it's by Theodore Retke, an American poet. Her face, like a rain-beaten stone on the day she rolled off with a dark purse, and enough flowers for an alderman so she was in her way, Aunt Tilly. Sighs. Sighs. Who says they have sequence? Between the spirit and the flesh, what war? She never knew. For she asked no quarter and gave none. Who sat with the dead when the relatives left? Who fed? the infirm, the mad, the epileptic, and with a harsh rasp of a laugh at herself, faced up to the worst. I recall how she harried the children away all the late summer from one beautiful thing in her yard, the peach tree, how she kept the wizened, the fallen, the misshapen for herself, picked and pickled the best left on rickety doorsteps. And yet, she died in agony, her tongue at the last, thick, black as an ox's. The terror of cops, bill collectors, betrayers of the poor. I see you in some celestial supermarket, moving serenely among the leeks and cabbages probing the squash, bearing down with two steady eyes on the quaking butcher.
come, mother. Your reboso trails a black web and your hem catches on your heels. You lean the burden of your years on shaky cane and palsied hand pushes sweat-grimed pennies in the counter. Can you still see, old woman, the darting color-trailed needle of your trade? The flowers you embroider with three-for-a-dime threads cannot fade as quickly as the leaves of time. What things do you remember? Your mouth seems to be forever tasting the residue of nectar-hearted years. Where are the sons you bore? Do they speak only English now and say their Spanish? One day I know you will not come and ask for me to pick the colors you can no longer see. I know I'll wait in vain for your toothless benediction. I'll look into the dusty street made cool by pigeon's wings until a dirty child will nudge me and say, Senor, how much is this? melancholy poet I know from the American tradition is Emily Dickinson. This is a short poem. You may have know some of her poems like uh, Because I Could Not Wait for Death. Could not wait for death. This is a different one. The sun is gay or stark according to our deed. If merry, he is merrier. If eager for the dead or an expended day, he helped to make too bright. His mighty pleasure suits us not. It magnifies our great.
aren't forms, they're just paragraphs I thought about. And you'll have to excuse my voice, I have a cold. Yeah. <coughs> I am not have a person yet, but here's what I think. The people have no voice. Their mouths are bound by a muzzle of false truths and conspiracy. <coughs> Man's quest for power has no boundaries. Earth's resources are exploited to the brink of extinction. Man does not bother to acknowledge the casualties of war. One day, man shall realize that man, that his worst and only enemy is man himself. My only wish is that I am not alive to witness man's awakening at the self-destruction. And my dying plea is that my own subconscious nightmare of self-liberation does not come to pass before my own awakening. I do not wish to, re to rationalize and conclude that I myself being engulfed in ignorance and my destructive of my own imaginary world, poisoning my, con my consciousness with blood red rivers of despair, polluting my soul with dark gray visions of horror. As I come to <coughs> as I come to realize that my soul escape is a vessel of death. Black swan glides past sleeping willow covered windows as the moon gleams.
honest opinion, what you think? I'm cheating. Huh? We just thought we had fashion up at the last minute. Thanks. I'm pretty down. That's why I'm trying to film you guys right now with some shark thing. Um, well, it's <laughs> hmm? Why would you record? The camp, can you record that great or what? Um, doesn't record that great when the lights off. But did I come out of what? Well, at least some of us came out. Well, I mean, you came out of bed, she came out. I don't know about these two guys. Is that it? Thank <laughs> you. 